Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. I wanna to talk to you about three new sets of footwear from Dry Code. So here's a look at the first boot, a nice outdoor boot. The second one is this, more of kind of like a wear around waterproof shoe. And then the third set is gonna be a set of waders. Now, before I share a whole lot more, I wanna let you know there's a discount code right here for you so that you can save some money if you wanna get some boots. Now, Dry Code has these three sets of footwear in addition to lots of other kinds. So um, I was not familiar with them before they reached out to me. I've checked these out, solid options, I think. Um, it's nice to have companies that are maybe outside the box from your standard, like, you know, Boggs or Muck Boots. I've tested out some of those higher end brands and I think sometimes you can pay less and get just as good a boot, a boot or even better boots sometimes um, and not spend as much money. So let's talk about these different options. We'll start off with the outdoor boot. We'll show you the kind of wear around boot um, and then we'll talk about the waders as well. All right, let's start off and talk about these. These are an all season rubber boot, 4.5 millimeters for your neoprene. You can get them in black. You can get, a, get them in this camo reed option and also in brown as well. You can see the rubbers coming up over the ankle and the neoprene here. Check out the sole. You can see it's, it's um, I wouldn't call it like aggressive, like it's gonna tear up your, your wood floors in your house or something, but it's not, you know, relatively smooth with a couple ridges. That's a, that's a pretty aggressive uh, um, sole, which means when you're out there hiking in the woods, you're gonna have greater traction, obviously. I will also say um, by the nature of how these are built, these are something you can actually go for a walk. It's not like, um, you know, I'm gonna put these on, I'm gonna walk half a mile to my hunting spot, I have to sit down because they're moving all over the place or they're uncomfortable. This is a boot that you can actually be out in the woods for a bit. It's not a hiking boot, as in I'm not gonna go climb the mountains of New Hampshire in it, but it's, it's su certainly suitable for getting out there and being in the woods for an extended amount of travel, not up cliffs, but just walking in general in the woods. So um, the, you know, if you're not familiar with these types of boots, some of the key factors, you got rubber here, so you can get this significantly, you know, that you're going underwater up to here with no problems whatsoever. Neoprene is gonna keep the water out as well. Um, once you get above this, you gotta be careful because pretty quickly you can get water that goes boom over the top, you got water down in, not a good situation, obviously. They do have in there, um, they have kind of a mesh um, wicking material. So down in the bottom here, it's gonna pull moisture away from your foot, which is good. But again, once you get water inside it, you're gonna wanna take them home, dry them out, etc. Couple little things to note. Um, you do have the pull tab here. You've got a pull tab and then like a little additional piece of cordage. That's a little thing, but that adds up when you're out there in the woods and you're like, okay, like, you know, I gotta take them on, take them off. You get out of your truck, get out of your car. It just makes things a little bit easier. So those little details add up. I talk about that a lot with gear like VanQuest and Maxpedition bags. The little details take it to a whole nother level. I do wanna show you, so that's one side of the camo. That's the other side, a little bit more green. There you got some evergreen there um, in that. What else? You do have this little lip here, which is nice when you're taking the boot off. This is where, I think it was muck boots that I had, they fell apart. And it's because when I would take them off, I'd put the toe of the other boot here, push, and then eventually this came right off. This is attached so you can push down on it, you know, with your other boot as you're taking your shoes off. Again, little detail, but once I got a crack in my muck boots, and I wasn't, you know, like kicking them, it was just like taking them on and off. Once you get a crack in there, you gotta seal it up or you gotta have somebody professionally deal with it. Um, I think I used shoe goo for a while and that worked, but then eventually that wore off. So a little detail like that is gonna give more longevity to a boot like this. Size-wise, you're looking at seven women's, six men's, all the way up to 14 for both men and women. Um, price point, you're looking, depending on size and stuff like that and coloration, you're looking between uh, 50 and 60 bucks for these boots, 49 and 59 for these boots. So just so you know, I will show you footage of all these different boots in use. Um, this one is probably the most generic multi-use boot. So you can use it in the woods. You could wear it around if you're doing some like work in the yard. The, uh, the blue ones are definitely like, hey, I'm going to work and it's rainy today, so I'm gonna wear those. The waders, obviously, when you're like definitely gonna be in something that's gonna be, you know, wet, you're out there, you're doing duck hunting, maybe you're fishing from the edge of a stream or a lake or something like that. So, um, or in a stream, I guess you could say too. I wanna be clear. The neoprene is waterproof. It's just that rubber versus neoprene. My experience, and I've said this across the board, is that rubber is the only thing that's gonna completely keep water out. You eventually reach a threshold where stuff gets so soaked that it starts to kind of just, you know, kind of 
collapse in on itself or it's it's resisting the water but not as well as like something that's straight up rubber even coats i just find even if a coat is waterproof unless it's rubber eventually it gets so damp that it starts to kind of like lose its form and shape but that being said you know from the bottom to the top it is waterproof as a um as a boot next up we have these which are deck boots these are available for both men and women um you got a variety of different colors you have a white you have a blue like this you have a blue with a red stripe around it there's a camo one as well so a lot of different color options when i look at these i'm like again this is a shoe i could throw on and wear all day long uh, particularly if it's like wet or damp outside right i'm not going hiking in these this is just like a day-to-day -day shoe um, it's got the nice little pull there on the back to slip it on you can see we got rubberized here and then neoprene that's going to go around your ankle um, you can see the the sole of it i mean not a ton of traction you're not going you know running up a mountain in these things but good enough for just getting out and about um, simple shoe, but I love something like this for, like I said, even with the other boots, throw this on and you can wear it to the office and then change into something else, or you can wear this all day long. I mean, it's a nice looking, nice looking boot. As you'll see in the footage, you know, throw these on and then a pair of jeans or pants like comes and covers this up. Just looks like a cool boot, except it is rubberized or rubber so that you don't have to worry about, you know, getting all, uh, getting your feet wet if the weather isn't great. So a price point for these, you're looking at about 51 bucks. Um, seven and seven men's eight women's up to 14 for both men and women for these uh these guys as soon as i took these out of the box my wife was like whoa what are those how can, can you get me a pair of those so um dry coat if you're listening my wife would love a pair of these and we'll post some pictures on social media to let people know about them but simple boot or simple shoe cool i call it a boot it's more like a slip-on shoe i call it but um simple product but i think it's nice enough to wear around the office, but also has some functionality to it as well. So I'm out here walking in the woods. One of the things I'll tell you about um, boots and walking in the woods is that, yeah, you want something comfortable, but also you want something that can help you with surprises, right? So like, look at the leaf cover here. I mean, it's just everywhere there's leaf cover. So all of a sudden, if I step on something and it's slippery, I got boots like this that have a grip on them. Also, like I'm walking around and I don't know if you can see it, but there's like it's leaves and then there's some bushes popping up right over there. There's water right over there and there's like a little stream that's running through. But besides that, there's like wet spots all over the place here. It's, a, it's definitely like a wetland. So you're walking in a boot that doesn't keep water out, out off your socks, off your feet. And you step into something, boom, now you're wet and your feet are cold and you're going to be out there for a long time hiking or hunting. With a boot like this, you're walking and you're like, okay, if I step in something, I've got, you know, from the bottom of my sole, halfway up my calf to keep the water out. So that's, that's something to think about when you're out in the woods, like, cause that can make a, an experience in the woods pretty uncomfortable if you're like, okay, my feet are, my socks are damp from 10 minutes into my time in the woods. For me, I'm like, oh man, that's not really what I'm looking for in my adventures in the outdoors. All right, so here would be an example right here, right? Like it's not like straight up deep water I gotta go swimming in, but there, that's kind of like just a, a stream-like stretch here. Definitely wet and muddy. I'll we'll just walk right through this. As you can see, my feet are definitely covered now. And they're warm too. I'm not feeling any like, this is basically frozen water here. Up here, oh, that was not frozen. That was liquid, but this is got ice on it here. So definitely chilly. But I'm feeling good. No issues. As I stand here in the muddy, nasty water. But uh, feet are toasty and dry. All right, guys. So I'm uh, I'm wearing the deck deck shoes, deck boots now, and um, I'm just out here in the uh the woods this is kind of an area that i i go you know shoot videos and stuff like that but let me get some footage of the actual uh shoes for you just to show you that you can wear them around i mean this is definitely not hiking it's just kind of a gentle walk out to kind of a deck overlook area but i, I love these shoes already man just like slip them on super easy and then you know i'll show you some footage as well of me like kind of out and about i gotta go to trader joe's in a little bit so i'll get some footage of that wearing these guys All right, there they are. I'm actually headed into a coffee shop to sit and uh, do some work instead of Trader Joe's, but I'm loving these things. Super comfortable for driving, 
walking. Definitely, definitely enjoying these uh, these deck shoes or deck boots, deck deck footwear. All right, guys. So I'm gonna be testing out the uh, the waders now to show you what those look like. I will show you right now. You can see I've got the uh, the deck shoes and the deck boots on. These things have been awesome. Um, they're toasty. I definitely recommend you wear like a wool sock or something like that when you're using them just because it'll help keep your feet actually dry when you're doing that. Um, I find like cotton socks tend to get too hot because of the, because they are rubber and therefore, you know, it's just, they just get really toasty. So wear something that can wick some of the moisture away, but they've been great. Uh, they're not something I'm going to wear out into six feet of snow, but just wearing around, you can see there's like a dusting of snow around. Definitely a good option for, uh, for footwear. So there's a, uh, body of water here it's got some streams and different things like that so we're going to try on the uh the waders now give them a shot all right so here's what you get with the actual waders you can see they're on now i'll show you them in a minute but we get a patch kit that's that warranty some information this thing which i, I honestly no idea what that is i figured it out those are boot hangers so you can actually hang the waders to dry um and then this i'm assuming is the belt that we're going to secure around our waist so that's what you get with the actual waders all right, I'm about to head down to the water. A um, couple details on these guys. The pattern you see right here is the real reed. They also, they also have a, an additional pattern as well. Let me adjust the camera down here a little bit. So a couple things I like right off the bat. These have some um, some movement to them. There's um, basically a, you know elastic in that. So sometimes you get these and they're just like they're they just don't feel comfortable as you're moving because they're strapped down so tight. So you can adjust them and get them nice and snug, but they do have some movement as well. We do have an inner pocket here, which is cool with a zipper. So you got that. Uh, you do have a pass-through pocket, which is, let me get that right here. So that goes through the whole side, but you know, keep your hands in there up against your body, nice and warm. Um, hook and loop here, storage. And then you got a spot here if you want to keep some shells. Obviously, if you're out, you know, um, doing some, some hunting, duck hunting in particular, I'm thinking about keep your extra ammo there to reload, rock and roll. As you can see here, extra reinforcement on the knees. And then these do have boots built in, right? So it's not boots and then waders separately. It's one big one big setup, obviously. That's gonna be the case with, with your waders. Um, and then here's the, uh, here's the belt. And again, I'm gonna adjust this down a little bit. This is something you wanna make sure that you put on. If you've never had this happen, God bless you. I'm glad this, that's the case for your life. I had it happen one time that I was walking and water got over the top in a set of waders. It's extremely scary, it's dangerous. Um, so if you put, when you put this on, you wanna secure it up nice and snug and that'll keep water from pouring in really quickly if you do get water start to come, starting to come over the top. So make sure this is on, secure it down nice and, uh, nice and firmly. These are rocking, I'm liking these. Um, for being in the outdoors, right off the bat, I can tell you yes. And then also we got our first snow like a couple days ago these are the type of things that I can throw on to go out and do snow blowing as well. So let's uh, head down to the water now. All right, I'm about to step into the water here. You can see I broke up the ice. It's weird because we had a very, very dry summer and then just ton of ton of rain in the fall and the early winter. So now we've got some quite full ponds and these vernal pools. Um, walking around in these, totally comfortable. Uh, I don't want to hike for 20 miles, but you know, hiking out to your spot where you're going to be hunting or out in the woods, totally good. Um, I will say that make sure when you get into them, you your um, like your ankles are cover, covered with your like whatever you're wearing for pants underneath. Because right now my ankle is exposed and the back of my calf is rubbing where the boot is. So you just want to make sure you're like fully properly set before you start walking, just so that there's no exposed skin where the skin can rub. Um, this you'll see it'll go up over the top of my boot onto the neoprene. But I've already been messing around in the water here, and they're, they've been working great. So take a look here. So that's up over the neoprene right there. You can feel the pressure of the water, but, you know, no, no water getting in. Toasty, warm, like I don't, I don't feel the, you know, the freezing cold temperature of this water. It's in the low 30s, high 20s today here. That's the air temperature. So the water is definitely going to be 
chilly and uh, yeah, no issues. Feels good. Good to go. All right, so you might be able to see, I actually, I walked that way in the water. So this is the way I was going before, and now I walked out that way. It doesn't get much deeper. Um, but I can tell you, man, it's, I'm quite toasty, despite the fact that that is freezing cold water. Um, the full layer of ice on top, probably half an inch, two thirds of an inch, and then gets thicker out that way. So yeah, these things are, these things are solid. Um, I'm gonna use them a bit more. This is just a quick opportunity to show you on camera what it uh what it looked like but um yeah they've been good so let me test these out a little bit more outside and then come back and give you some feedback on these dry code waders all right guys so i'm gonna wrap up here talking about these waders and then also just my experience with dry code uh footwear in general so these waders looking right now that they're gonna be running around 119 plus you can get, use the discount code so save some money there um you saw me wear these in the water. I've also just been walking in them. I just literally sat down in the snow not too long ago just to be like, okay, what does it feel like? Um, if you sit into the snow or you have snow on you, eventually that's gonna start to melt and then that just becomes a cold liquid that's on your, like on the neoprene. It doesn't go through, but it'll just be sitting there which can make you cold quickly. So if you do get snow on them, I'd encourage you just to brush them off as quickly as you can. Um, but these are great. Like I said, you know, wearing these out in the woods, awesome, but also just like wearing them around uh, to do like snow shoveling, snow blowing, that type of thing. So let me put that up there real quick. Um, yeah, so you've got a couple different, you have a bunch of different waiter options. These are the ones that run about 119, like I said, plus the discount code. Uh, the deck boots, thumbs up. Those are great, like everyday type of uh, shoes to wear when the weather's a little uh, rainy or, you know, there's rain outside, snow outside, that, like, that type of thing. The boots I've been wearing all the time, just going out and doing some stuff in the yard. I've got um, like a little place where I've been cutting up some wood and preparing some wood and stuff. And like, I'm out there wearing the boots. I don't need full waders for that, but the boots have been great for that. So across the board, thumbs up for dry code. Um, Long-term use, I can't speak to that um, with a lot of experience because I've had, I've had these for, and used them for, you know, a total we're talking about maybe two months or so, a little bit less. Um, my experience has been good so far, but you know, I can't speak to year long use or something like that. But so far, thumbs up. I think it's like I've said, it's good to have another company out there that you can check out as opposed to just some of the big names, well known names out there. So if you've had experience with dry code, let's hear from you uh, in the comments. And um, yeah, I'll put links down below to the, all these, um, these items and to dry codes uh, page over on Amazon in general, if you want to head over there. And uh, thanks for checking out the videos as always. Dry code, well done. All right, like I just said, thanks for checking out the videos. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.